single sample population proportion test uh, when to apply it how to analyze the data and how to explain the result in the context of the problem when the mean or the standard deviation they are not the appropriate measure for a population for example the unemployment rate um, affecting from a virus, uh, the debt rate, things like that. Um, any rate or proportions or percentage typically uh, appropriate for a proportion test. Uh, there are a few limitations on that. You can read that in the openeducator.com. Uh, let me show you an example where we can apply this proportion test. Uh, so here is, uh, I have the data for the unemployment rate in the United States from 1948 January to all the way to uh, December 19, um, 864 months uh, of unemployment rate data. Now the average of that, I have just averaged that, which is about 5.7%. Uh, and then um, the current population in 19 last year was uh, about 328 million. And one of the question would be, was the unemployment rate in 2019 was higher? This is before the COVID-19 um, stuff. So it's just a normal situation. So if a research question is whether the unemployment rate in 2019 was significantly higher, which is this, 0.06%, you can go all the way and average, average that number. Here as I have averaged that 19, 12 months average, which is 6.4%. Is that statistically higher than the historic rate? If that is the research question, and we try to find that, answer then we can use this proportion test to um, statistically see whether this uh, percent 6.4 percent is statistically higher than this 5.7 percent so simply this is the formula to see all the formulas and all details theories you can see the openeducator.com under hypothesis testing and population proportion test you get everything there so this formula, let's write it here. This is equal to basically, I'm gonna start with the parenthesis. Uh, so P bar, this is P bar minus the um, historic rate, uh, close the parenthesis. A lot of time my students switch between this P bar and P zero. P zero is for the entire population. And P bar is the smaller number for example, this unemployment rate in 2019 would be P bar, and P0 would be the average for the entire uh, data set. Uh, so let me do QRT, square root of, um, I'm gonna just start with one more parenthesis. Um, so that's P0 times uh, one minus P0, close the parenthesis, divide by the total number of people surveyed, I just did the entire United States population, and then close the parenthesis, uh, I think I gotta close another parenthesis, okay, so that's the Z value, now to get the P value from that, simply it will be one minus norm D -ist. And then this, so that's the p-value, basically zero. This is a very huge high uh, probability. So it's gonna go all the way to the end of the distribution tail. Uh, let me show you how to do it in the mini tab. So here is the mini tab. Stat, basic stat, uh, proportion test. I have the summary data. Let me move my Excel file on this side. So the number of events, I'm gonna copy and paste so I don't make any mistake. So this many people are observed to be unemployed. I don't know why I'm getting a, oops. Okay, doesn't take comma. All right, got it. 
So number of trials was the total number of population. Again, it doesn't take commas. Remove that. And we're performing a hypothesis, which is the historic unemployment rate between 1948 and, I don't know why it's doing that. What's wrong? Nothing wrong. Okay. All right. So the p-value is zero. So the conclusion would be we reject the null hypothesis. Now the null hypothesis is basically um, the uh, historic rate is this, and it has increased in 19, like this. So if we reject that null hypothesis, that means we accepted the alternative, meaning that in 2019, the unemployment rate was statistically significantly higher than the historic rate. 